What's going on, YouTube gang? It's your boy Boss, man. Uh, I'm out here changing the brake chamber on a 2020 Healy trailer. And um, I'm just show y'all how it's done. Uh, this is a uh, disc brake uh, break chamber right here. Like I say, if anybody is into the diesel technician, diesel mechanic field, you want to have one of those. That right there is a, a brake cage socket right there. You use the cage off the brake. That's how you get the rod to go in. As you see on that one, it's sticking out. The middle rod right there. But yeah, you see I got it in. That's where you can get it back hooked up. But um, uh, yeah, like I said, I got you always want to remember which line is which line, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to have the lines hooked up. Mess around to have three wheels rolling and this wheel locked out, dragging. So, you know, when you're dealing with this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You, you out safety is the number one key because my family, your family, here, everybody family be beside these trucks and you don't want that. You have a bad day. And I don't want to go to jail for that because I can't go to jail if there's something from my mistake kill somebody that could charge me with it because I'm certified in this stuff. Like I say. Let y'all watch me do what I do. Hopefully that's a good angle right there. You can see what I'm doing. The nuts are 15, 16. I you actually I used the 15, 16 to do take these two nuts off, take these fins off and the lines. 15, 16. That nut right there is a 19 millimeter or three quarters. And it's not, it's this real stinted. It's real long. Thanks to my service truck, it's my tools are getting rusty with the raggedy box on there. I don't know why. It don't matter what kind. They they gonna leak for some reason. I don't know. Okay. But uh, see all side up. notice I'm going the same amount of turns I do on the top I'm doing on the bottom sorry the camera going in with me I gotta put my go pro on my wife bought it I ain't used the thing yet man I take this more seriously Starting to invest in me, so I gotta 
dog using this when everything falls in place. But uh, like I say, same amount of times I'm doing. I don't want this. I don't want it to bind up. See what I'm saying? So the same amount of times I'm doing, I'm doing it from side to side, side to side. That's why I can keep it going on flush. I could have put a ratchet on here. I'd rather do it this way, you know, take my time. I'm not in no rush. Take my time, make sure I got it done right. I'm more old school with it. That's why the only thing they ain't be for nothing. Turn it loose. When I did gave it after I got it tight and I gave it a whole quarter in turn. Dealing with these brass fittings, you, just, you really want to take your time putting this on because they will strip easily. Boy, I tell you, you have a bad day. Bad day. Like I say, you can see, I ain't in no rush. Turning it, gonna it go down. Exactly what I need to do. Like I said, that's how you do it right there. Got everything all hooked up nicely. And um, you always want to make sure your lines are not chafing. If you don't know what that means, that's, see how ain't not, the line is not touching nothing. It's all away from everything. You ain't got to worry about it rubbing, getting a hole in it. 
Then once you all done, you bag this off. And bag it off like that right there. Now don't get me wrong, this thing right here get hot, boy. Pull it on out of there. That came off the old brake chamber, so I don't, I ain't worrying about it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I keep them, sometimes I don't. But it's best to keep an extra one, though, because a lot of these trucks and trailers, you come two side of the road, they'll not have it in there. You see how that brake chamber got it on there? And see, this one right here got it right here. But like I said, I didn't bother that. I don't left it on there. I just used the old one. Get all my old nuts and washes out of the way. And, uh... This job is completed, man. Like I said, that's how you replace a brake chamber on a Healy trailer 2020. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Ring that bell, man. It's your boy, Boss Man, and I'm out.